Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Nice to see you again. Today we're setting up a new fish tank. Now my daughter, this is a tank that I had on gifting to her. But we went to Fishman Aquatics a few days ago and she picked up a better fish which is going to be called... Snowflake. So we have to set up a tank for Snowflake. Now luckily her dad had lots of fish tanks and lots of filters and lots of stuff hanging around. But you didn't want any of it, did you? you... No, I want the nice pretty stuff. So try as I might to encourage her to have a nice planted tank. No, she wants ornaments, she wants fake things. I do want weird mossy stuff. And pretty things, I guess. Tried my hardest to talk her out of clown puke gravel, but she's been very sensible and chosen a nice plain gravel. There was bright pink. There was bright pink, but we didn't go for that in the end. And to be fair, I think this should be your tank. So whatever you want really is what we're going to do. Yeah. I think that's the important point. If you have kids and you're setting up a tank for the kids, let them choose as much as possible because they're the ones that are going to enjoy it. Mm. So if you end up having something that I like, you're not going to be as interested, are you? Yeah. So to that end, we need to think about what are the most important things for a fish tank? Filters. Filters. Good answer. Yes. <laughs> so the number one thing we need to have is a filter because that's and what's going fish. to... And fish, that's even more important. Because we need to keep the fish healthy. And the filter is what keeps the all the fish poop and pee. Takes all that, filters it out and turns it back into nice clean water. And we do water changes after that as well. So filter's most important. We need to have it hot um, because this is a tropical fish. But this is quite a warm room so we're still yeah. deciding whether or not... The radiator. The right there so we're deciding whether or not we actually need a, a heater in there. But we need filtration maybe heat light that's the next important thing which is death. and then decoration which is more for us than it is for the fish but they like to go hide but they like things to keep them interested and keep them things to do and play with and all that kind of stuff especially because well, this is a better fish so they are quite interactive they like to play mm -hmm. with you they'll come up and they'll say oh, what are you doing can i have some idea oh, what's going on here so we need to keep them interested mm -hmm. the important thing with uh, better fishes because they have long fins if you pick um, really harsh ornaments they can get their fins trapped in here and it can tear their fins but this is nice and soft mm -hmm. so go for silk plants if you don't want real plants rather than the harsh plastic plants and look out for ornaments with really harsh sharp edges because that's probably not going to go well yeah. so what we'll do first is we'll put in the substrate which is the stuff at the bottom yeah then we'll put in our ornaments, decide where we want them to go, and then we will fill it with water. Mm. And then put the area of the sticky thing. And yes. <laughs> so I, I really hate these things. This is the stick-on thermometers. Um, and they have Fahrenheit on. That was Fahrenheit rather than Celsius, but she likes the fact that they light up. So we're having them. <laughs> They're not the most accurate things in the world, but we'll go with it. If you didn't have a dad like me who had loads of things already set up, we would fill this up with water and we would cycle the tank, it's called. That makes sure that it's ready for the fish. Um, but I can give you a filter that's already cycled, it's already got all the good bacteria uh, and we can put the fish in straight away as soon as it's the right temperature. Mm -hmm. So let's get started. We went to the shops, we picked out some stuff and Elizabeth's chosen a nice grey you all that grey, grey silvery type yeah. and a bit gravel. Wet. So open it up, put it in. I think I need scissors. You might do. Yeah. Right, so we'll start with the substrate, just pour that in. Normally we would have to rinse the substrate, but I've used this gravel before so I know it works quite well and it doesn't get too dusty, so we should be okay. So the next thing to do with that is just get it in a pile, in a shape that you like. I have specific aquascaping tools for this, but no, we just use our hands. <laughs> <laughs> Generally, people would go get it taller at the back. 
like a hill down to the front. What you get was something you quite like. We're not bothered about planting because we're not having real plants, so it doesn't. One real up. plant, but it's moss. Well, we're going to have some moss, are we? Okay. And the, the weird stuff. Right. So it doesn't need a thick substrate to root mm -hmm. plants into. So we're just mm -hmm. going to have that. It's really up to you. So we we picked out several ornaments and fake plants. One with coral. One that's got coral because you know you find better fish in the sea all the time. So it's got some coral and some greeny plants but we just like the shape and it wasn't too sharp yeah it's got lots of swim throughs so the better mm -hmm. can swim through those holes maybe mm -hmm. okay I so is that going to be the central thing is that going to be the main ornament right in the middle is that what you think yeah and we've got another ornament too haven't we just want to show them the other one it's this one so that's the plant that we've got but this one's got that, so I'm have to bury it. Yeah, we'll bury that. Mm, a bit, a bit at front. So the beauty of this is we can always move it later if you don't like it. And then that leaves a space at the front there for your other one, doesn't it? Well, this one's supposed to look like it. They crash. So what is it? It's like, mm, it's like it's a, a ship, boat. a ship that's crashed and sunk. Mm. Yeah, it's crashed. I think that'll look good then. Eh? Do you want to take the label off first? Oh yeah, that back a bit, so it's more room. So we'll just put it where you think it might go, and then later we can move it if need be. Ta-da! Right, I think next we should put a light on it and then we can see what it looks like when it's all lit up. Okay. So this is just a, a cheap light from I think All Pond Solutions, but it's just one I had to spare. Mm. So it clips onto the back of the glass. Dark. Yep. It's mm. annoying. So we've added the light, that's the light on top, perfect for this size tank. The tank itself is 30 centimetres cubed, which is ideal for a bit. It's not too small, it's not too big, it could go bigger quite easily, I wouldn't go much smaller than this though. So we've added the light, we've got the decorations in, I've taken a pre-seeded filter, so this is a filter that was running in my fish room. It's a sponge filter, it's quite a small one, do just the job. And then we've got water, I've taken from the tank he was in in the fish room, so it's the right temperature. And then the fishy is in there. And we'll put the fishy in the tank. Snowflake will be very happy. Snowflake will be very happy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the bag that the gravel came in. I'm just going to put that down there so when I pour the water in, it you doesn't kick everything everywhere. So that's a, a wee top tip for you. So I think we've got everything now, haven't we? Mm -hmm. So we've got filter, most important. Check. Substrate. Check. Ornaments. Check. Light. We don't need heat because we've got preheated water down here. Fish. Yes. Fish is in that little Ta bucket to there. And all we need to do now is add the water, <laughs> turn on the filter, <laughs> and then we can add the fish. We have skipped some steps because I've got a fish room and I have lots of stuff ready to go. Mm -hmm. So I'll talk you through what you can do if you don't have those things at the end. But I think we're ready to add water now. Yay!
So we've added the water now. This is the water from the tank the fish was already in. So it's the right temperature, it's the same parameters. It's not going to be shocked or anything, so we can put them straight in. We've got the filter bubbling away in the background. And... Yeah, it's a little bit cloudy because we have managed to kick up some stuff as we were adding the water, but it's absolutely fine. Want to put them in then? Yeah. Snowflake, welcome to your new home. Here you come. Just let them come out on his own. There we go, he's in. He's so cute. I don't need that. He seems happy enough, um, time will tell obviously, but it's a good size tank for your first bet of fish. Betta fish is probably quite a good recommendation for a first fish to keep because they have quite low requirements. Like I say, we haven't put a heater in this one because the, the radiator is quite close to this and it's quite a warm room. We'll keep an eye on that and see if there's anything detrimental. If he has clamped fins, if he looks a bit sad, then we might put a heater in. We've used a preceded filter, so this is a filter that was already running on another fish tank. If you don't have one of them, then you would need to look into the fishless cycle where you would set up your tank with everything but the fish and run it for, it, it can take up to six to eight weeks if you're just doing it with ammonia. Um, I'll put some links in the description to how to fishlessly cycle a fish tank. But if you have another filter, you can give it a squeeze in here or you can use some of the filter start products. Some of them are quite good. I'll link other videos here where you can learn about that. But it does take a little bit longer. And if you're putting in water that's straight from the tap, you'll need to use a dechlorinator uh, to make sure because if water from the tap has chlorine in it, it can burn their gills and their fins and it make them very unhappy. So we've skipped a load of this. This has taken, what, 20 minutes to set this up? Yeah. So really, really fast, quick scape. It doesn't look too bad. I'll give you that. It's not my cup of tea. I would have this with loads of live plants. <laughs> live plants can be a great benefit to a fish tank because they can also deal with some of the filtration for you. I've got one live plant. But we've got one live plant. We've got a big bunch of java moss stuck at the back there. That'll do some of that work for us. But it's kind of a cool little scape. We've got the main ornament at the back there. We've got the sunken ship. He's already been round exploring everything. What's yeah. your favourite part? Mm, I like, I like the like, front and kind of that bit. The middle bit. He's not been inside it yet. I wonder if he'll go in and have a look. Maybe. But he looks happy enough, doesn't he? We've noticed under this LED light, he, we thought he was pure white, but he's got some pinky shades, hasn't mm -hmm. he? And as well as some like, shimmery bits. And a bit of black. Yeah, some black under his chin. Just like me. <laughs> so, brown. we grey. will... <laughs> it's grey. <laughs> it's got some grey. Right. So we'll check back in on Snowflake. Yes. Snowflake. We'll check back in on Snowflake's tank and see if we have any future additions. But I think that looks pretty cool. Yeah. He seems happy. Mm. You seem happy. <laughs> and that's all I want. Happy fish, happy daughter. Not in that order. So Snowflake's happy. Daughter's happy. That's the two most important things. We'll check back in and make sure everything's okay. But we think that's going to work out just fine. So if you have any questions, please stick them in the comments. We'll be happy to answer whether it's best or me that answers them. Mm. Um, and we'll check back in soon. But thank you very much for joining us. And we'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.